Hello, I'm Dr. A.D. Kemp, the Hammer Doc. This is a Leslie Lower Slow Motor that uh, I'm getting ready to uh, clean, lube, and oil. So I've already used the towel here to wipe it off. I'm using scrubs and a bucket. And these are excellent towels for cleaning dirty parts. Let me check. Ooh, okay, let me see what I'm doing over here. Now, I'm going to clean this motor internally. And the way I go about doing that is I use WD-40. And um, so, I wanna make sure I spray this WD-40. Into the bearings. Generous use of the WD-40 won't hurt it at all. And if you want to, you can plug it up and listen to it. It's already sounding better than it was sounding before. But just with the WD-40, but that's not enough. And then we take some of this blaster, PD blaster. Also spray inside these bearings. And I want some of this black. I want it to get on this spring down here. Oh, this black. Yeah, I want that PD blaster to get on that bearing, that uh, spring that's inside. not all. Now, next step is to, the next step is to oil this motor. And, and oil in it, you have um, a hole here in the top and, and the oil goes down into the bearing. But I will, I'll, I'll put some oil there, but I'll also go right directly to the bearing and, and put oil there as well. So you can do this. I mean, if you want to run it again with the PV blaster, let that PV blaster circulate in there. It's running even smoother now. And I'll take this right here. Some zoom spout, put that in there. Push this up, hold it like that. Put this in to the bearing, bam. Perfect. 
put some oil in there. Turn it over. Put this in the side here. Side right inside here. Put all that bearing. Get some oil, some oil on that, on that, uh, on that spring. And I can plug it in again. Oh, she running smooth. She's running, she's running real smooth. That's a smooth running motor. Now I'm cleaning any excess dirt that might be on the spindle. Cleaning that up. All right, so I want to wipe off any uh, external oil grease because um, I'll be touching it, and I don't want any oil grease, any of the oil or the lubricant on the rubber o-ring of my fast motor so next what I'll be doing is um, is replacing this cord put a brand new cord on it and I've already made a video on that process recently relative to the fast motor so I'm not going to uh, bore you with that in this video, but I'll show you this. Um, here's the cord that I use. This particular cord is very long, but you don't need that much. And uh, like uh, like I did with the black cord, the other video you can go and check out. I make it just a little bit longer. Hmm than the original. So I'll cut it right here. Trim that back. Cut these. Go ahead and take care of the rest of that and uh, put this back together and then uh, I'll have a new cord on this motor and then I'll reassemble everything and I'll have a bottom Leslie bottom motor stack that's ready to be installed. So until the next video, Doc Kemp here, the Hammond Doc, saying to you, it's a beautiful day today. Peace out.